ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play the Oracle of Ages. I am the Umbreon Messiah! Alright, now that, that the intro is over with... Last time we left off, the Maku Tree had told us that Queen Ampi was leaving the castle, and this was the perfect time for us to pounce. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have the correct, uh... tree in this age. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. That's actually going to be a major problem, from what I can remember. Huh. How am I going to get out of here? I really should have remembered to unearth that tree. That's going to cause problems. A lot of them. Uh, maybe not. Whoa, what the tits? Oh, right. I, like I told you, anytime there's deep water, there's a lot more to it. Ah, oh, this is irritating as hell. What the hell's here? Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. Yeah, I bet you could. Huh. Oh, wait, I know where I am. Haha! -ha! Well, I was kind of screwed, but... I seem to have found my way back to Lina City. Or village, or whatever it is in the past. I don't know anymore. Speaking of which, if it's a village, why is there a castle in it? Doesn't really make much sense, does it? Oh, well, this is a Zelda game. Like, it's supposed to make sense, right? What trade item do I have? That mustache. Who am I supposed to give this to? Oh, I remember who this belongs to. We're gonna do a little trading game on the side here, folks. As a side note, you're interrupting my brunch. Which is sushi. And I love sushi. Vegetarian sushi. Mm-mm, good. Don't land on the man. Excellent. I just want to make people laugh. There's gotta be an easy way. Give them the cheesy mustache? You're damn right I will! Hooray! Funny joke! Oddly enough, the person I have to give this to is right here. Well, in the past. Don't worry, we'll probably be finishing this trading game before the seventh dungeon. I want to laugh until I forget everything. Wow, emo kid. Yes, tell him the funny joke. We're doing this again? Come on! This song's overused. Did Link just turn himself into a pancake? I didn't realize you were breakfast, Link. I also didn't realize your body was more malleable than Mario's. <laughs> ah. Oh, no, this song's not going to work inside. Why did I push that button? Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, now that I've got that... There's one last... Uh, stupid buttons. There's one last thing I want to do before we head to uh, Queen Ambie's castle. And once again, it has to take place in the present. Yay, teleporting! I realize I'm wasting a lot of time, folks, but there's things I wanted to do. Check up on you. Take him to the doctor. That's supposed to have gone by by now. Alright, well, you can never really tell. We All right. Whoa, it's Ralph! Athrin, don't startle me! You also heard the guard on the palace was down and came to save Nehru. If anyone is gonna save her, it's me! I won't let you beat me to it! But it's no good entering from the front door! I should stop, but I'm not going to. I know! There should be a hidden entrance at the palace garden! I'll sneak in through there! What? Why do I know about the hidden passage on my first trip here? Never mind! I'm coming, Nehru! Huh. That doesn't sound like it would be useful information at all. Well, anyway, this is kind of like... Uh, oh, right, I remember now. This is kind of like the uh, Zelda's garden thing from the Ocarina of Time. You have to avoid the guards as best you can in order to push the buttons. Once you push the buttons, you get inside the palace. Now, it's been a while since I've done this, so... Oh, hey, a scent seed tree. That's helpful. Da, 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 da. Well, that was the easiest button to push, I'm pretty certain. Meep! Also, when you push buttons, for whatever reason, the guards reset. 
Oh, goodness. Hooray! Ah! Yeah, I don't know how they didn't notice me either. Woohoo! Excellent. Now we just have that one last one to push. Assuming I don't fail miserably at it. Oh, God. Okie dokes. Now, the question is, how do I do this? Ah, I sort of see now. Oh, curses! Why do I have to make this so hard? Okay, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully I won't suck this time. Whee! There we go. Excellent! The secret passageway is open. Woohoo! That was close. Cut you down, go in here. Ah. See, now they're making us use the mermaid suit. Wag that tail, Link. Ah! Shit! Okay, I forgot to mention these. Whirlpools will turn up in deep water. They're kind of like bottomless pits in the, uh, in the upper worlds. You kind of have to avoid them or you get sucked down. It's stupid. I don't know why they put them here. Also, I don't understand how Ralph's going to get through here. He doesn't have a mermaid suit. Or is it just that everyone else can swim and Link can't because he's like a cripple or something? Hmm. I'm trying to remember which way I'm supposed to go. Oh, right. You still have to avoid the guards. <coughs> Oh, Jesus! Oh, no, wait, that's right. You can actually fight them back this time. They're kind of pussies like that. Music's good in here. I like it. Now, if I can just get to... What's her junk? Viron, without getting caught. Here we are. Hi, Nero. Or Viron. Atherin, I'm amazed you've come so far. Wait! Do you mean to turn your sword on me? <laughs> if you want to hurt Nero, then go right ahead! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first battle against Viron. She's possessed Nero, so we can't really hurt her without hurting Nero. In fact, attacking Nero will actually hurt us instead. There is kind of a trick to this, though. You have to remember something that Viron said early in the game. Mostly the fact that she hates mystery seeds. If you hit her with the mystery seed, it will thrust Viron from Nehru's body, and you can take whatever horrible fanfic connotation you want from that. And then you kind of just switch her out. Oh, I missed. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Just stop that. Get over here! Hi, Viron! It only lasts temporarily, and this gets trickier and trickier each time you do damage to her. And we're running out of time, so I better hurry the hell up. Ah, oh, come on. I don't remember how many times I have to do this. I'm just hoping it's not that much longer. Come here, Nero. Come here. Don't be so irritating. Ugh, not bad at all. Just wait until next time. Next time? What is this commotion? Oh no, it's Queen Ambie! Oh, sweet, Nero's back! You seem different. You seem nice. <laughs> the queen comes with impeccable timing. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> the body of a queen suits me just fine. Do you know what I'm going to do now? Let me tell you. Meet the petrified ones. I shall catch them all. So she's a Pokemon trainer? Ralph! Oh no, this 
significantly bad. I, I don't know how he got past the guards. Oh, Nehru's gonna save us. <laughs> what are you going? Where are you? Ugh, what are you doing? Catch them now! Yeah, like, you're gonna be able to stop the Oracle of Ages. Come on. Yay, the Maku Tree! Well, we went to the past. We rescued Nehru, finally. But unfortunately, Viron's now in control of Queen Ambi. This just goes from bad to worse, doesn't it? Actually, I don't know how taking over the Queen is worse than Nehru, but ignore it for now. The game wants us to believe it. Anyway, we're running out of time, folks, so stick around. There's more coming at you, especially the seventh dungeon. Ugh. <laughs>